working with you that I'd like to draw the attention particularly to our legislators. I'm very proud to have the opportunity to work with former Speaker Chris Binge and our current Senator, Senator Macy, in the crafting of a, of a law that was passed three years ago called the Municipal Fiscal Impact Act. It's a very common sense bill that simply requires, requires that legislators look before they leave and they consider legislation as to its potential impact on municipal governments, which means on the folks back home. You, the businesses that operate here, the citizens that operate here, because uh, let's face it, with 2,500 bills that are flowing through that uh, process in such quick fashion, uh, it's hard to know what the true fiscal impact is and it can get lost. And a question that legislators are accustomed to asking is, what's the fiscal impact? But generally that means this impact on the state. And they'll say, well, it's been looked at, doesn't have an impact on us. But certain legislation will raise the cost of providing government services back home. And legislators deserve the opportunity to have that information made available to them so that they realize that full impact. And then they can make a good conscious decision to support it or not. This is basically trying to identify and slow down unfunded mandates so they can look before they leave. Absent that information, a legislator might think it sounds like a good idea, vote on it, and realize when they get back home that there's been a new burden placed on the municipal government, which in an unfunded mandate, since our budgets are tight always, that could mean an increase in fees or taxes back home or a reduction in local services. So it's in everybody's interest to look before we leave so we don't have the messes that we have in Washington here. And so this being the third year of a fairly new law, uh, I've written a column and urging people to, let's remember,